Oh yes, got my V-Strom back after a little bit of a saga. Um, it went in for a recall. The recall was for the lock surround and the wiring connecting to it underneath. Uh, a possible wire getting chafed underneath the tank and a possible bad earth underneath the seat near the battery and it went into Grimbridge's at Heathfield and they checked it over and the report came back because they have to strip it down and see if it warrants the warranty work um, and the report came back yes we'll go for it they also found that the ECU was also on a recall, which I hadn't been informed about, um, but that was also on a recall because of blipping at about 3,000 revs. It would drop dramatically to a stage where it felt as though it was going to cut out and three or four times since I've had the bike it did cut out and when I explained this to him he, he checked and he said yeah the ECU might need changing as part of a um, previous recall and it turns out it did so I booked it in again to have the work done um, which was this Saturday and what we all understood was it was the lock surround which obviously includes the, the immobiliser and um, yeah the lock surround which includes the mobiliser and then the, the front wiring harness which comes back to somewhere underneath the tank so that portion and then plug and play on the ECU because the other bits looked alright What they received from Suzuki to fit to the bike was the ECU, the uprated ECU, and also a complete wiring harness, including the locks around. So instead of that being a three and a half hour job, as you can imagine, there's uh, quite a bit of faff for to strip it down to get underneath the tank anyway because on this the tank only lifts about three or four inches so it's quite a bit of faffery to get underneath the tank anyway you have to take the tank completely off which is all these plastics as well um, and then fit a complete new harness so I've got a complete new wiring harness and a new immobiliser and surround, uh, lock surround, and the updated ECU to stop the problems with, hopefully stop the problems with the bike cutting out. And I don't know whether it's just because I've just had a Z650 as a courtesy bike, but Oh, it's good to be back on the old Strom. Everything about it. Down to the, the thickness of the grips. It was a bit too spindly on the Z650, but yeah, just everything is just very comfortable. And I would like to say that it's picking up better and the acceleration's better. But as I say, having just ridden up to Groombridge's on a Z650, um, it might just be an illusion. Ooh, 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 ah, illusion.
but just the fact that you've got to pull the bloody thing over you've got to make it travel in the direction you want it to go whereas the Z650 was so flickable like my old GSX-S 750 and I don't really get on with that it gets a bit <laughs> gets a bit twitchy for me so it all feels rather wonderful and the guy who done it I mean obviously he's had a mammoth job on his hands um, but he's persevered and he's done it and fair play to Groombridges the job is done and my bike is back with me as I say with all these new bits so it should be trouble free for a long time to come on those those particular bits just headlights working <laughs> yeah yeah indicators yeah yeah horn hazards didn't fill it out with petrol like they said they was going in there dear 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 anyway there you go just a short video on um, the recent upgrade the recent recall should I say this is a 2014 uh, V-Strom um, so if you do own one and you haven't had the recall for the corrosion on the uh, lock barrel surround and the couple of wiring bits then go along to your local dealer and check it to see if it needs doing and also the, if you are having problems with the with the revs dropping right out it was when I was sort of blipping from 3000 revs and then letting go of the throttle it would go down the majority of the times it would go down to such a level you thought it was going to give out um, and as I say three or four times it did actually cut out completely at really opportune unopportune moments like going into roundabouts and stuff where I've decided on a path a course of action whatever um, gone to go for it and someone's got in the way and I've had to stop um, which has ruined the manoeuvre but also the bike has cut out because the revs have dropped so much so there you go if you are having that sort of problem where the revs are dropping are dying by too much um, again go and see your local Suzuki dealer and see if your ECU is due to change I think it is only the 2014 model um, V-Strom not sure about that something you need to check um, and it might cover other Suzuki's as well but it was definitely a problem on mine and by the looks of it it's been sorted oh Rolls Royce so there you go that's um, that's the news on what's happened to my 2014 V-Strom 1000 regarding recent recalls